this is Greg Anderson. We're at KB Racing and we're about to show you how to hone a block for today's piston ring. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna go step by step on how to hone a block for today's piston rings. Now, obviously you guys being the pro stock gurus, ring seal is pretty much Everything. Yeah, everything. everything. Yeah. Just everything. <laughs> so, with this new Rottler H80, 85. right? 85. 85, all right. Talk us through the process of what we're going to do today to hone this old. It's a Ford block, by the yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. That's a foreign letter, a foreign word around these places. This is the first time we've had a Ford block in house, by the way. So pretty I don't small know if it's board too. The last, but it's the, definitely the first, and it's uh, it's tiny. I, I don't, I didn't even know that this own could go that small. So <laughs> the hole's about like that instead of like that, like we're used to. But doesn't matter. It's still it's four oh sixty five, so it's, it's not that small it's compared to most still people. Still the same principle, and you still need to make that cylinder round. That's the key to find a way to get the cylinder round straight round, as possible. round, and then we're going to get the correct surface finish. Correct. So correct. Still Step one of this whole process is there's a torque plate on here. So explain the idea of the torque plate and why okay. we put the torque plate on here. Okay, so what you do with the torque plate versus honing without a torque plate. If you were to hone this block without a torque plate and then go bolt your cylinder head on when you assemble the engine, go to race the engine, the bore is going to be completely different shape than it was without the, the deck plate. So what you're trying to do is simulate the cylinder head being bolted on the block while you hone it because you want that cylinder to be in that configuration where the cylinder head is basically bolted on it because mm -hmm. that's how the engine's running. Right. So you're trying to simulate that. So that torque plate simply simulates the cylinder head. So we have the exact same studs for the head. We have the exact same gasket that will go on there. So everything and same torque, torque specs. Torque spec, everything. Torque your main caps like you would normally torque them for a running engine. So your engine is in running condition. Correct. Speaking of running engine, yeah. Dino, back in the background. That would have been Jason Line in the background playing yeah. around. Yeah. That is Jason. And He's that is not a Ford, by the way. Number two, what stones do we have in here and why do we have them? Okay, so what we have here is it's called a 170 to 200 grit diamond cutting stone is we're looking for a certain depth of the groove basically, the RVK or the groove for the oil to hold behind the ring. As the ring touches the cylinder wall, you want some grooves behind the, the surface that the ring surface rides on to hold oil. You have to be able, able to hold a certain amount of oil. Yep. Maybe not too much, but certainly not too little. So as we found over time, we need that groove to be slightly deep to hold on to some oil, because without oil, you're in trouble. That's, oh, exactly. Yeah, oil is there to be the lubricant and, and, and the and seal. Your it's the old gasket. days hone, everybody used to like to hone a block very, very fine, right? Yes. And, and thinking friction and everything. And well, the a 325 grid abrasion, right? right? Was the, pretty the less friction common. it's going to have, but then you run out of oil. Yeah. And now you're creating friction again, so it completely reverses on you so we learned over time you've got to have those valleys to hold the oil all right so step number two is we're going to be using a 170 200 diamond yeah. to create those deeper valleys then we're going to come back and plateau over it with a 600 cbn cbn stone. not so, a diamond but a cbn yes. this time okay so well, what you're trying to do here you get those valleys and then you finish it off and then you put your smooth finish on the top but below that top it's got the valley still but it's still going to be smooth on top like everybody valleys underneath so plateau on top. Friction back down for that ring. That surface mm -hmm. the, ride, the, ride, the ring rides against is, is back to smooth mm -hmm. like you think you want. Right. Low friction, but you still got oil capacity. So right. that, that's how we do it. And basically, what you do with the diamond is you go completely within a tenth of a thousandth of finish size, and then you go to your 600, your finishing plateau stone or your CBN, and you're really not taking any extra material off. And that's so the key. That's is the, the, the key. old days, people yeah. would you go within maybe a thousandth or two, and, and they would step it down, and then maybe two or three tenths with this stone and two or three tenths with that stone right. but as you go you're getting you're doing away with your valley exactly you completely ruin your valley so exactly you, you can't do it that way so when you, you measure it with the profilometer we're looking at you know, plus or minus a hundred micro yes. inches, and a hundred micro inches yeah. is a tenth of a thousand. Yes. So we're not talking about many thousands here. It's no. less than a thousand. So everything's done with le within less than a thousand. So if you go and, and take and change your stone and keep going down from 220 grit to say 320 to 400 to 500 or whatever you want to finish right. at, you've completely done away with your valleys as you've gone through because you've gone through many thousands of wear. Exactly, and that's really step three we're talking about. Is that as opposed to just doing that 
progressive stepping, you're going to go to size with the roughing abrasive, and then it's not stock removal, it's counting the number of strokes yes. in the yes. plateau mode yes. in order to create that extreme plateau. Because right. in the old days, we called it a plateau. We used yes. a 320 grit yes. abrasive when yes. you go to size, or yes. close to size, then you'd finish with a 400. Well, it was so smooth, you couldn't hold enough oil. No but the old water. rings, they were molly based they were porous, exactly. they held the oil, so they, exactly. they were allowed you exactly. to do that. But today's rings have a very hard coating on them, and you're really not going to wear the ring much. No. It's a very, very flat surface. There's, right. there's nowhere for oil to hold in the ring, so exactly. you have to hold it in the block. All right, so that's going to be our process. Torque plated to simulate everything that's going to be happening in the engine when it's assembled. Then we're going to set that deep valley by using the rougher grid abrasive, and then we're going to take it all the way to size and then plateau over it to create that finish. So stay tuned, we'll be back with the results when we're done. All eight cylinders are honed following our process of we've got the torque plate in place, then we would used the 17200 to go to size. Right. And it was incredibly straight and round, top it to was, bottom. I was very impressed. We were expecting a little less from this block, but it, uh, it overachieved. It, yeah, it, it, it did. It, it did pretty nice. Yeah. And then we finished with the 600 CVN. Mm -hmm. And it was, what, 18 strokes in 18 plateau strokes. mode? 18 strokes in plateau mode, and that gave us the finish we wanted right on the money. And, and uh, very... Very consistent cylinder to cylinder, so. So the numbers were about 10 on the RPK. 10 on the RPK. Roughly about average, 35 on the RK. Probably 55 on the RVK and yep. 30, 35 on the RK. Yeah, so which is a good place to perfect. start. Perfect, I mean, it's like should textbook. Be, should be good for this ring package, should be good for this block. And we would do it with 30 degrees on the cross-hatch angle? 30 degrees cross on cross-hatch, yes. All right, because yes. this good bore average. is a little bit bigger than the stroke. Yes. 4065 bore, Correct. three 400 stroke. Mm -hmm. This engine will turn probably 8,500 RPM or so, so that's a pretty good that package be a good for that. Formula. Yep. Should awesome. be a perfect formula. So we're pretty happy with it. Well, hey guys, this is a big treat. Greg Anderson just honed my dad's block, and you got to watch. <laughs>